Hey, welcome back. My name is Jamie Pate and thank you for being a part of this channel today and this video. It is the middle of March. I lie. It's like the second week of March, but it is National Crafting Month. And even though this is National Crafting Month, right? It doesn't matter. You can craft any time of the year you want. It's just a fun thing to maybe restart your craftiness, restart your making, restart your creating in your life. Maybe there's a new thing you want to pursue. Now, hopefully you all know about the mink, but if not, I have a pretty quick little video that's going to invite you to craft with the mink. Um, something a little bit outside the storytelling realm because creativity just exudes all of my life. These cute little butterfly picks that I made using a die cutting machine and mink and a fun little technique that I hadn't done before using texture paste as paint. Are you ready to get started? Let's go. Okay, so you can see I have a couple of items already ready to go. What I've done, and I've talked about this product so much. This is the surface paper pad. It's a mink product. And inside, in case you haven't seen before, it includes this great heavy duty vellum that you can very easily mink on, toner sheets, and these glue sheets. So what I've done, I've taken the glue sheets and I have die cut them with these Tim Holtz dies, these butterfly these butterfly dies, okay? So we're gonna run those through just as they are with this ombre foil. Okay, so let's do that first. In case this is the first time you have seen the mink demonstrated, this is the 12 inch width mink. I've turned it on and I'm just moving the heat setting to three because that's just a really good heat setting for the glue pages. And on the back of mink products, it very often shows you what the setting should be. So that's the reason I'm going with the three. I have cut down a plastic carrier folder and the items that are going to be foiled get placed inside of the carrier folder to protect them from the heat. This is the heat reactive ombre foil. I'm gonna cut a swatch of it and lay it over on top of these butterflies. So you can see that I'm gonna place it foil side up right on top. And when the machine turns to green, then I will run this through the machine. The foil is gonna react with the glue and it's gonna leave a beautiful foiled product. These have gone for, through the machine, so this is what we call the great reveal because this is always so beautiful when the butterflies come out. And uh, you can see that ombre just has a little bit of that pink effect on the top. It's so very beautiful. So because of National Craft Month, we are going to make a little craft with these. But first I want to show you another technique. Taking a vellum butterfly that I have already die cut with the vellum, I'm gonna use this clear texture paste in a different way. I'm gonna use it like a paint. I'm gonna take and get enough on my brush and then lightly brush it over the wings. I don't want a whole lot, but I do want a little bit of coverage. Then I'm gonna set this aside and let it dry really well. I've already done these two butterflies. This one that is see-through and then the solid one. And so we're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna run it through the machine with the mink foil and see how that effect works. And that's the result of that. It's just, it's not a solid coverage. It's super soft and delicate. And the foil just showed up right where the paint, well, the texture paste was added. Here's how the solid butterfly turned out. And while it's really pretty, I don't think I prefer it as much as I do the one that has the cutouts in it. This just makes for a really pretty and delicate, real artsy kind of butterfly. Okay, now for the crafty part. So I'm gonna put a daub of hot glue at the top of this skewer, and I'm just gonna pop the butterfly right on top of there. Once it's dry, I'll adjust its wings. I'm just gonna repeat that for all of the butterflies that I have here. And that is how that is done. So now I have these great picks. Now that the 
glue has dried, I can just go in and just gently bend up their wings. They're gonna look very beautiful in a simple arrangement. And they just sort of scream spring as well. So that's just one way to use the mink machine to create some crafts in your space. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you do not subscribe already, I hope you'll consider doing such. And I'll see you in the next video.